Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute where we're throwing strikes and getting likes. Back again with another video. Today, we are talking about watching Milwaukee Brewers games in 2022. I did this video last year and it was it was rather popular and it got a, got a lot of good response. So I figured I'd drop the information on you guys again uh, with a few updates from last year's model. Um, there's a lot of good good ways to do this at a reasonable cost, so I'm just going to break it down for you. Um, so number one, of course, is still going to be our old basic standby, uh, is to go with a cable subscription. Right now, you can currently get a two-year program, so you wouldn't have to think about this for two years. Uh, for $94.98 plus tax and applicable fees, so you're probably looking at about $115, $120. Bucks. Uh, with internet and the Spectrum TV Select package with no upgrades. Uh, you can use that in an Apple TV or you can use it with a Samsung TV or any TV that supports the Spectrum TV app. So you just have to look to see if your TV is compatible with the Spectrum TV app. If it's downloadable on there, you could use it. Uh, there's a slew of devices that use that, so I'm not going to break down every device that uses that. I currently use Spectrum TV with the uh, Apple TV and it works good for me. Um, so depending on boxes and things like that, how many rooms you want it in, uh, you might have to add a little bit to that bill. But that being said, if you are a current subscriber, new for 2022, you can add the regional sports network, Bally Sports Network, to a pick 10 plan. So this is if you're in an overpriced plan and you just want to drop your bill. You can drop to like a pick 10 and you pick 10 specific channels and they allow you to pick a regional sports network. So say you want some kids channels and you want some news channels and you want the sports channels, you can pick those channels now. Um, and this is per information I got from a representative. Uh, once my current promotion expires, that's what I'm going to do for myself, because there's only like 10 cable channels I actually really care about. Uh, number two is still MLBTV.TV. Uh, this is directly from the MLB, so it gives you the game feeds. You can either watch the away or home game. Um, you can do the single, se single team for $109.99 for the full season. Uh, that's that's really the best value there if you just care about the Brewers and you just care about watching Brewers um, because you can do that with a VPN and avoid blackout restrictions. So a VPN is basically just a virtual public network that tells you you're at a different location than you actually are, allowing you to un unlock content that you wouldn't normally get in your region, i.e. MLB.TV. I currently use Nord. I think they're a very good service. I think I locked in at like a three-year price for like a hundred bucks or something like that. Uh, there's also Express, which is very good. And there's some free VPN services out there. I can't speak to any of those, but I've been told that there are some good ones out there. So you just kind of got to do your research on VPNs. Uh, if you've got any questions on that, shoot me a direct message on Facebook or down here in the, the comments. I can answer any questions on this. Uh, MLBD TV for the full package is $24.99 uh, a month and that gives you every team every game you can have multiple feeds and streams going on at the same time so or you can pay the $139 or $129.99 it's on discount right now for the year uh, they're doing some discounting because of everything that happened um, so those are the options really that were there last year Either way, um, Spectrum right now, just standalone internet, that's that's the price I researched because they're kind of all over the state of Wisconsin. I don't know if you're in other regions. I can't tell you what your cable prices are there. Um, $44.99, that does not include any equipment, so if you need a router or a modem, there's going to be upcharges. They always upcharge you for all that stuff. So 24 months, though, so you can lock that in for two years. So say you do one of these services where you don't need a long-term subscription, you can cut the subscription and just have the internet. I think everybody pretty much uses internet at this point. I could be wrong. 
Uh, and then there's one more. I've never used it, but I've heard a lot of people speak really good about it, so I'm just going to briefly mention it. It's Uzi, uh, U-Z-Z-U. Uh, they have a sports package that's $119.99 or $19.99 a month. Uh, basically, I've been told that this can get you every local game as well. Uh, I don't know if there's any need to use a VPN with that. Like I said, I haven't used this one myself. Uh, it's just been a recommendation from other watchers, subscribers, and people I've talked to on the internet for some time now. So, whatever way you go, there's plenty of ways to watch the Brewers games this season. Um, Hulu, Direct TV, YouTube TV are no longer options for us. So remember that. Um, YouTube TV, Hulu, most of the digital platforms. The only additional thing for 2022, and this goes to the people who want to watch baseball on a different, different level or different want to watch all baseball. I guess it's it's a way to access games that you wouldn't see um, otherwise is through your Apple. Uh, so if you if you purchase a new Apple TV product or an Apple product or have Apple TV on your Samsung TV or have it subscribed on any any device um, you actually can get Friday Night Baseball which is new for 2022. Apple signed a deal, exclusive rights. They're going to play a double header every Friday night. Uh, so if you don't have any of these options and these are too costly for you, you can still see baseball every Friday night via your Apple devices. So again, it's a paid option, but it's still an option if you have those options. So that being said, that's 2022 in a nutshell. There isn't really much more than that. Um, cable kind of holds out because you get every game and... It's not really hard. you got to negotiate on a menu, and that's about it. Um, the VPN's still a good route. Um, it really works when you're on the go, too, if you have, like, an iPhone or if you have, like, a tablet that you can log in into. Um, those are really, really good options. But that's up to you guys. That's all you're choosing. Uh, I hope you found this video informative. If you did, smash the like button. If you do have a question for me, I do know a little bit about these technologies and these things, drop it in the comments or shoot me a message over on Facebook and I'd be glad to answer it. Thank you for watching and you guys have a great day. Go Brewers! Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. Go Brewers!